I'm Sean. I'm in the kitchen, Sean's Kitchen. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to roll a burrito. We've got uh, some brown rice here and some uh, uh, refried beans, some uh, vegan cheese, and some super giant burrito uh, tortillas. So uh, let's get to it. Are the beans vegan? Vegan beans. Yes, uh, vegan, vegan friendly beans, uh, no lard in the beans. So I had to make sure about that. So usually uh, warm up the tortilla. What that does is it makes it uh, more flexible and will keep it from ripping when you're uh, rolling the burrito. And just a few seconds, you, uh, you, might, you might see the burrito uh, bubble a tiny bit. And that is when you can flip it over, give it a few more seconds. And lay it on our board. Uh, then you can put all of the ingredients that you want on. Just gonna do a nice simple uh, rice and beans burrito. No vegetables in this one. No vegetables in this one. Uh, so I, I try to put the ingredients right in the middle of the burrito. Uh, alternately, you could have put the refried beans on first and just kind of smeared it. it. It'll be in the burrito. It doesn't matter if it's first or last. Anyways, this looks prettier. I see that you didn't put the cheese down first. Is there a reason for that? Uh, when you're rolling a burrito, top and bottom, as long as it's towards the outside, then it will, uh, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set it on the uh, back on to, uh, to seal the, the fold. Oh. So that's when the cheese and everything will, will be heated back up. Show me how to do this because I so, really... So this is in the middle. Uh -huh. uh, I, uh, there's a couple different ways, but this is how I do it. I fold up the two ends towards the middle, uh -huh. and then the back, and take my hands like this, and I'm folding it with my thumbs, really, uh -huh. and I'm holding down the top with my hands, so I'm doing this. Now, what that helps you do is that if you've got a really stuffed tortilla, that'll help keep everything in while I'm rolling it. Okay, so now I've got that edge over. I'm going to take these little pieces over here, just for uh, visually speaking, I tuck them in so that the end pocket it. is going to look all pretty. So I turn it just a little bit and I make sure the ends are tucked. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, look at that. I've yeah. got cute little ends that, you know, the, the tortilla isn't like sticking all on. That, that's like a perfect burrito that you would find in a restaurant. And then you set it with the seam side, the down. Seam side down for a few seconds. And uh, what that does, it crisps up that seam and uh, steams the, the tortilla together, kind of. So a couple seconds like that. So when you bite into it, it won't like it won't squirt. Just, it won't, it <laughs> this won't squirt. Really it won't, won't break off, break, uh, open up on you. Yeah. Every, every time I, I roll a burrito and then I eat it, and it like like squirts out all over the place, and mm -hmm. it's very annoying. So wow. Cool. And, it, and if you want, you can also toast the other side as well. Well, just and since the cheese is on the top side right now, so that's going to melt the cheese a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah. So and this is a southwestern thing to griddle your burritos. I'm not, I don't usually griddle my burritos, but it could be, that could be a thing. Mm -hmm. Wow, and look at that. See, I pick it up, it, it doesn't fall apart. Yeah. This is the best yep. burrito rolling. Yeah! <laughs> Baby, and like, that's like enough for two servings for me. I saw you one day, I saw you making burritos, and then you uh, stuck them in a bag and put them in the fridge. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, much... <laughs> Much like the burritos that you can get at the uh, grocery store, they're, they're frozen, 
you can pre-make burritos at home. Uh, often, I will make burritos <laughs> ideally for the week, but I eat a lot because uh, I bicycle everywhere. So, uh, but I try to make burritos for the week, and uh, yeah, I'll do four or five of them at a time, uh, put them in the refrigerator. Uh, I still go through the same process. I just let them cool down, uh, then cover them after they've cooled so that uh, the tortilla doesn't dry out. Obviously, you can put whatever you want in the burrito. Burrito is, is like a sandwich, if you will. As long as you've got a starch in there. Uh, some kind of protein. Some kind of protein. You know, go crazy with it. Uh, I have made peanut butter and jelly tortillas, uh, burritos before, where I mix the rice and peanut butter together and then throw in a little jelly and that's it. If you don't have rice, I mean, breakfast burritos use uh, uh, breakfast potatoes. So just diced potatoes or hash browns, uh, depending on how lazy you are, go to the grocery store, get the frozen uh, hash browns. You can quickly uh, fry those up in a pan and, th and throw them in a tortilla with whatever you want. Uh, you know, your, your favorite vegan cheese, uh, soy riso. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, thanks for showing us that, Mr. Bubble Wrap. Right? Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>